everyone, welcome back to my zone deep cleaning series. This week we are working on zone six, which is my kids' bedrooms and bathrooms and just doing all the things to get their closets, bedrooms, bathrooms, um, deep cleaned, organized, just back in order and good to go for a little while. On Monday for zone six is focusing on all of my kids' clothes. I go through their closets, their drawers. I get rid of anything that's too small that um, they're not going to wear, they don't like, anything like that. I go through, get it all out of there, things that don't need to be there, and I reorganize the drawers and the hanging clothes. Um, I kind of sort them out from short sleeve to long sleeve, collared, button up, and then a little bit in colors, um, and then working on the drawers and everything too. But I am starting out in my youngest, his closet. He is three, and so I do most of his clothes putting away. He helps a little bit, but um, I'm doing all of his now, and then I will go to do my other son's room and my daughter's room. Um, they are responsible for putting their clothes away so their drawers will get a little messier because they'll tumble getting stuff or um, they won't take the time and they rush to put their clothes away, but uh, they do a pretty good job of it. Except for my daughter, she's the worst. Just wait until we get into her room, you'll see. But I just wanted to say welcome if you are new here. I'm glad that you came across my video and are watching. Uh, just a little bit about me. My name is Jen. I have a husband and three kids. We live in North Florida and my kids are three, six, and eight. My older two are at school during the day and my youngest goes to preschool three days a week, three mornings a week, not a full day. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. I do a lot of things, cleaning and organizing and some crafting kind of stuff, but that's a lot of what you'll see about me. Just mom life and taking care of my home just to make it organized and just to flow a lot better. So if that kind of stuff interests you, then I'd love it if you subscribe to stick around so you don't miss out on my future videos. If this is the first video that you've seen in my uh, zone deep cleaning series and are kind of confused what I'm talking about or doing um, for all of the deep cleaning in my home, I have my home broken down into different zones and I work on each zone one week at a time and I have things scheduled out that I'll work on for each day of the week. I do Monday through Friday. I save the weekends for other things that need to get done, just family time, activities, things like that. And my whole goal with this whole zone deep cleaning series is just to bring you along with me, showing you how I get this all done in my house and just to give you the motivation and inspiration ideas and some of these things that you can implement into your own house and to make it a little bit easier. I do have a printable available on my website for free. That's just taking you through the different zones and the things that need to get done in each area and room and everything. So head on over to my website and get that printed out and just clean along with me to get it all done. I will leave that link down in the description box below along with the playlist for my whole zone deep cleaning series because I've already done zones one through five and I started out in my kitchen which is broken down into two zones. So if you haven't seen those yet, definitely go check those out. There are some that are pretty satisfying. I am working in my six-year-old son's room now, and if you've watched any of my previous videos where I have organized his clothes or been working in his closet or anything, I do have some that I have, um, but I mentioned when I was working in my youngest room, the older kids are responsible for putting their own clothes away, so that means that they are putting them on the hangers and hanging them up in their closet. and. My son is left-handed and I am not, but when he puts clothes on hangers, it's the opposite direction of what I put clothes on hangers <laughs> like. And so I should probably just leave it, but I'm, I usually pick out his clothes for him because he just likes me to. So I'm the one going through his closet to pick out his clothes. So I just like to have everything in the same direction. And he also doesn't um, like 
organize them out like I do short sleeve long sleeve and colors a little bit it just helps me to pick out the clothes when they're that way and to not lose things like I know where to look for a certain thing um, if it's kind of where it typically is but so it took me a little bit in here to kind of switch the clothes around and then reorganize them kind of in the way that I organize the clothes I also took out quite a bit of clothes in his closet and in his drawers because he's recently just hit this crazy growth spurt and a lot of his clothes are too small. Even some um, that are still hanging in here since I did this, he'll put it on and I'm like, oh wow, that is way too small now. He's just all of a sudden just like gotten so much taller like grew two shoe sizes, two or three shoe sizes in like such a short amount of time. Um, so what I've done is I've just got all the things that are too small from him and then I'm putting it in a bin to um, put in my younger son's closet for him to grow into. I'm sure I'll get questions about these little organizing bins that I use inside of the kids' drawers. And these just come in a set from Ikea in different sizes. I originally had a couple sets of them when um, last year in January, I went through all the kids' clothes and drawers and everything and did the whole KonMari method and folding and everything like that. I started using these and then I wanted more. So the last time I went to Ikea, I got some more and I just haven't put them in the drawers yet. So you'll see me in some of the kids' drawers. I'll put some more of these little um, organizing bins in there and um, it just makes it so much easier, especially for them to find things and to put things away. It just helps it stay more nice and neat, but those came from Ikea. All of the boys' clothes are basically in their closets with their hanging clothes, and then they have their chest of drawers in here. Um, but my six-year-old does have his baseball stuff in the dresser in his room, so I'm just organizing all of his baseball uniforms and stuff like that now. I'm now moving on to my daughter's room, working on her drawers first, getting rid of the things that are too small or that are just worn out and going to be reorganizing her drawers. You will see her drawers are a lot messier than what my boys are because she just rushes to put things away. She doesn't always want to put them away. And then she also just tumbles through things just to find something to wear or will change her mind and just throw them back in the drawer instead of folding it back up. But I think that's just a girl thing, but wait till you see her closet. That is a whole nother situation. I just wanted to take a second out and just tell my subscribers, uh, just thank you for your support and thoughts and prayers on my previous video and just kind of for hanging in with me. It's been a little bit of a break since I have posted a video. So thank you for sticking around with me and, um, giving me grace in that but in the last video i just explained some stuff that's going on and um, just causing you know a little bit of delay in effect 
in my videos and everything, but I am doing better um, as far as my friend who has cancer and has now since started treatment and everything. Um, it's kind of up and down and I've been doing a lot of things to help her out and her boys and just anything that I can do. Um, so that's also been taking you know quite a bit out of my time which I do not mind at all but because of that um, my videos will kind of be out of schedule a little bit or a little bit delayed in my zone deep cleaning because I don't have as much time to put into it as I did before um, but I'm just going to do as I can what I can and I'm not going to stress myself out about it um, previously if I had videos planned or things that I wanted to do. If it wasn't happening at that time frame, I would just get stressed out and just, I don't know, just make myself just have so much anxiety over it, which in the long run, it's not really going to change anything and it's not that big of a deal. So I've kind of had to step back and just say, you know what, it's okay if the video doesn't go up on this certain day that I said it would because friends and family definitely come first and I really appreciate you all for understanding that. This closet, y'all, her closet stresses me out. I just, <laughs> I have said in my videos before when I clean her bathroom or do anything in her room that it doesn't take but a day or two and it's back to just being trashed and I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't know if it's just her age. She's eight, um, going to be turning nine late summer but she is just so messy so messy so anyways it looks bad but what's even worse is that i found things shoved everywhere where it doesn't belong so i had to go through every little thing every little shelf everything in her closet and i found the most random things in here that were trash too like i found a balloon with water in it like what what is that so she just does some weird stuff in here and will just hide it because she knows that she shouldn't be doing some of the things that she does. So anyways, I just found a little thing of slime, which slime is banned in my house. Like they know they do not bring slime home and that's why it was probably hidden in her closet. She probably got it from school. But anyways, in here, it's just going to take me a little while. I have to go through every little thing in here and throw a lot of things out and reorganize it all. So it takes me a little bit, but that's what I'm doing now. And then the turnout is just so much better and worth it. I'd be going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Stop looking 
looking at ya, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Once I have everything off of the shelves in her closet, I just take my cleaner and wipe everything up really good because they were just nasty from all of her stuff and markers and crayons and just the gooky stuff and makeup, everything that she just messes with, it just has just gotten everywhere. So I just gave everything a really good wipe down. Said some awful words And I know that we both got hurt But I wanna be with you I wanna be with you We can't let this slip away You know that I want you to stay Cause I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Don't run away We can't let this go to waste I don't want nobody else Don't let this go to waste Now that I finally got her closet all cleaned out and reorganized, I can finally go through her clothes. And she has a pile of clothes right here that she has not put away like she was supposed to. So I am just putting all the clothes away and just organizing it the way that it needs to be and then pulling out the clothes that no longer fit. Although she's pretty petite and she hasn't really grown too fast to just grow out of her clothes for a little while. So I didn't really have to get rid of too much in her closet for her, but that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to go ahead and get her closet finished up. close to me I hope that we can work it out I wanna feel you close 
close to me Wanna feel you close to me I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me So now I'm starting on the Tuesday task for the week and that is to wash the shower curtains upstairs. Um, we have two kids bathrooms upstairs. My daughter has her own and then the boys share one. So I am taking down the shower curtains and I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in the washing machine and then just let them hang dry. And then the next thing for this day is to clean out both of the bathroom cabinets and drawers. So I'm just going to take everything out, uh, give everything a good wipe down, and then reorganize the things back into the cabinets and drawers. I'll give you my everything. It's not much, but it's all I have. You know, we could run to a place where we belong. But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I what it's all about and how to make you smile again something that i want to figure out i want to catch i want to catch you like every time that you fall i want to give you the world the world that is outside your walls if i was god i would save you take you where you belonged if i could i would get something new something new then i would have what it takes make you feel like you're safe cause all i need is just some someone like you someone like you Like this. 
this, yeah, we could try to leave it all behind. And we don't have to think about it, oh baby, try to rest your mind. I wanna catch, I wanna catch you like every time that you fall. I wanna give you the world, the world that is outside you all. If I was God, I would save you, take you where you belong. So moving on to the next day task, I kind of ended up combining Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday together because I had a little bit more time on this particular day. Um, so I went ahead and just did room by room because that was just going to work with my schedule a little bit better. And then I ended up doing my daughter's room on a different day because that's just a little bit more to tackle. Um, but for Wednesday of zone six cleaning is to wipe down all of the cabinetry in the bathrooms. Um, and then also doing all of the doors and baseboards, but I went ahead and combined it and went ahead and took care of all the light fixtures and, um, the blinds and windows and vents and everything like that so that's what you're going to see i'm just going to move room to room starting out in my boys bathroom here and getting all of that stuff done Stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. With all of the cleaning that I do, I use a Swiffer duster just to kind of get the dust built up off and then just use a cloth with a cleaner on it. Right now I'm using a Mrs. Myers cleaner, just trying to finish that bottle off and then just giving everything a wipe down to clean it and just makes it smell good. And then for my glass, I just use a vinegar and water mixture and that's just what I always use when I'm cleaning. So that's kind of how I do it. And if there is a little bit more like dust build up on the baseboards or just it's kind of dirty i'll just use my um shark duo vac and vacuum that or either use the little duster before i wipe it down so it doesn't get my rag all nasty just from you know all the stuff caking up on it so that's typically what i do when i go through and do all my cleaning All of these tasks also include doing the small hallway upstairs as well. So that's what you see me doing here, starting at the top and working my way to the bottom. That's how I always do it. I start up at the top and then work my way to the bottom. I just wonder. It really makes me wonder. 
I am moving on to my daughter's room. Her sheets need washing, so I have her sheets and her mattress pad in the washing machine right now. But I am just starting out, I don't know what it is about her bed, but <laughs> stuff, just trash and just things get in between the mattress and the bed frame, the rails and everything. So I was just vacuuming all of that out and then starting at the top of her room with all the dusting and cleaning light fixtures and windows and everything, vents, and then working my way down just like I did for the boys' bedrooms. Just wanted to show you this right here to show you actually how dirty it is because it's always hard to tell from just seeing a video it looks like you're cleaning something that's clean but things are actually dirty and her room is just dirty this is just dust that's just on the baseboard so we're gonna get that cleaned up and you see that mark right there that's just a marker mark I don't know why I don't know how but it's there and we're gonna try to clean it off and it's so much better. As you can see, I have a couple little helpers here while I'm finishing up her room, but this is my youngest and he is taking pictures of Bailey, our dog. Um, since our other dog passed away, Bella, that you would always see in my videos, he has been a little bit more attached to me and just, I guess, kind of filling that void that she always did because she was always, always around me. So he has been kind of following me around a little bit more and sitting with me more, just kind of being there more for me, unlike he was before, but now that she's not, he just is. So he is about to be turning 14, so he's getting older as well, but he's just 
that's Bailey. I guess you're going to start seeing him more now, too. When I started vacuuming, I realized that I forgot to clean out underneath her chest of drawers over here in the corner. I did do her bed and then the small dresser. Um, but this is what I say about my daughter. Things are just shoved everywhere and my boys are not like this. <laughs> but I went ahead and cut everything out from under there too and just vacuuming everything up really good. So now I'm just going to show you some finished shots of the whole upstairs, which is all the kids' bedrooms and bathrooms cleaned. Um, some of the bedrooms, like my daughter's room and um, my youngest room, we don't have all the things hung on the walls, like for decorating and everything. I don't know why we never really got around to it. We moved in, but so they're kind of plain. Like we haven't really just done everything that we wanted to do as far as decorating goes, but this is everything nice and clean and i wonder how long my daughters will last So that wraps up zone six for my deep cleaning and next week zone seven i will be in my spare room which is our spare room guest room craft room office and i'll also be doing my main desk area in the main part of the house but i hope that this gave you a lot of motivation and you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe if you are new and i will see you next time bye guys Every piece of respect for you